So this is a video I'm gonna kind of do in one take. Oh, I should probably uh, hold on. I gotta turn my TV volume off. <laughs> Whoops. Um, this is a video I'm gonna do in one take. Um, and just it's just not like anything major. It's just to talk about what my plans for MLB 15 are. So as you know, the game was released earlier this week. Um, Amazon said I ordered it with free shipping because I wasn't sure I was. Uh, well, it, things kind of changed like throughout the whole process last year. With the game, I was like, I probably won't get it when it comes out. And then the day it came out, one of my friends was like, hey, let's buy it digitally, we'll split. And then I was like, okay. This year I was like, okay, I'm going to need it for videos and stuff. And I, it was kind of the day before, like a week before, and I was like, eh, franchise is not going to be available for a little bit. But then um, a thought occurred that day, which was, oh, OSFM, now that you can carry over rosters, is going to be like a lot quicker of a process this year. So... I won't probably won't have to uh, wait as long. So I bought it like I pre-ordered it again after I already canceled my pre-order, and um, I pre-ordered it with free shipping because I was like, yeah, I can wait the five to eight days, and I'd rather save the like thirteen dollars of shipping. And that says five to eight days. It's currently Friday the third, and um, so <laughs> that was not five to eight days. And it's uh, like I got a text earlier that said it was out for delivery, so um, it's a good time to. Uh, do the plan. So, as I announced on Christmas in my uh, Diamondbacks Lost episode, um, I plan on doing um, plan on doing a Cleveland Indians franchise as soon as the OSFM rosters come out. I was going to do another season challenge type thing if I got the game on release day like I did with the Yankees last year, but I kind of veered away from that um, idea because I, one, didn't get the game, and two, realized the OSFM rosters are going to be out a lot quicker this year than years past probably um, and uh, so that kind of swayed my thinking what I am going to do in the meantime though is I'm going to start my road to the show now last year if anyone remembers I had a weekend series with a road to the show character named Scooter Buckeye who was a center fielder turned first baseman later on in the series I don't know if I got that far in posting it because I uh, um, realized the year to year saves didn't work the way I thought they would um, but this is going to be my permanent like I'm going to redo Scooter Buckeye and he's going to be my kind of permanent um, year-to-year road to the show character. It's going to be a stream series. It's a stream series. Um, that's what I plan on doing in the interim. Is At least I might do another road to the show character as a pitcher later on. I haven't 100% decided because I, this is like the first time I've thought about it within the last five minutes. But for the interim, I'm going to do a stream series. What a stream series implies, as opposed to the other stream series that I've kind of been doing where I'll upload them later, is... Immediately, like almost immediately after the stream ends, I will export the stream to YouTube and I'll upload it whatever time um, it's like done. And it'll just be the full thing, not edited down. It'll only be like hour long streams. So there won't be uh, like any like. I streamed the order when I was playing that because I finished that last night. Um, I streamed the order for like two hours usually. I'll only stream like Scooter Buckeye for one. Because I know you guys uh, don't have the most time on your hands in the world. And um, I'll do that two or three times a week. And then I'll still probably stream in between that because I just got, I'm getting Metro Redux today. So I'll still stream that. Um, I'll still stream in between that. And also I got to test out franchise mechanics to see like the order that you do things in. Because last year... I kind of just jumped in blindly without doing anything, and I didn't realize that last year, as opposed to 13, you had to actually scout players like ahead of time and pay attention to your scouts and stuff like that. So I um, need to test out franchise, and also, um, fuck, um, I had another point that I was going to make um, about. Oh yeah, I'm going to take the pacing slower with the Cleveland Indians this year than I did with the uh, the Diamondbacks last year. And what I mean by that is, one, I'm not going to make crazy trades day one. And two, um, I'm going to go through the schedule slower. I went way too fast last year, I realized. I only did like 10 episodes a season. I want to do like a good 15 to 20 this year, depending on what other series I decide to do. I might speed up the pacing. But what I plan to do on the, by that is um, I'll probably do two games a month. Um, and then, like, only one game during the All-Star month and do, like, another video for just All-Star break stats and stuff, um, even though it's, like, 100 games in the season. Um, and then, also, um, I want to, like, yeah, I got to test out Franchise. I might stream that. I might not. Um, I don't know. 
Um, and I don't know who I'm going to test it with. I might even just test it with the Indians to see like what happens. Um, but I might use the Blue Jays um, also because I did plan on doing a Blue Jays franchise at some point um, on YouTube. I plan on doing it, and this would have been the perfect year. But I wanted to do the Indians last year, like halfway through the year, um, about November, or December. Not oh November or December, excuse me, like June or July. I was still doing the Diamondbacks. I loved doing the Diamondbacks. And I was like, man, Cleveland Indians would be a fun team to use. So there's that. Um, so basic recap: doing a Cleveland Indians franchise when the OSFM rosters come out. In the meantime, I'll be doing a Road to the Show revival of Scooter Buckeye, who we plan on making the greatest um, switch hitting center fielder. Um, well, I guess just the greatest switch hitter of all time. I'll make a reintroduction video of that, too. I might just actually re-upload the old one, to be fair. Um, but, yeah, it basically wraps this up. Thanks, everyone, for watching, if you did. And look forward to the MLB 14 content. I'm still going to do NHL videos every day and whatever other random stuff I decide to do between there. Good variety going. Um, it's kind of my quota or my trademark at this point. I'm just kind of all over the place. But, anyway, i got to wrap this up because i got to go. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.